Nico, Nico, baby, you don't have to remind me, okay? I don't need you reminding me of all people. Come on, dude. Oh, <laughs> not again. <laughs> Hello. I'm gonna admit right now, it's been quite a while since I last played Happy Home Paradise. I think the last time I properly played the game was when I made my last video where I finished the main part of the story. We're back on Happy Home Paradise after quite a while and we're just gonna have like a fun little time doing some catching up and possibly a few houses for some villagers. Yeah, that's that's exactly what's happening. First things first, I wanna talk to our boy Nico over here because I actually want to do some visiting of houses real quick because I have done a few houses since the last time I played I think as you can see I do have Pierce's house ready um I'm waiting for Pom Pom to show up on the island so that way they can have a honeymoon resort I don't think I did anything for Shari I just kind of plopped her somewhere same with Teddy I plopped Teddy down just so I can get some of his items the house that I actually want to show off real quick well there's two you can actually see them on screen the first one I want to show off is Kyle's Amanda if you're watching hey um how you doing? <laughs> this one's for you, bestie. Okay, as you can see, Kyle's house. Um, what was his theme again? It was like, yes, a home with cool lighting. In his little build catalog thingy, this cool thing over here was one of the items. So I kind of wanted to give him like a nice abandoned jungle sort of thing. It's really similar to another house that I did. I'll show that one off later. While we're here though, let's talk to our boy Kyle. There's nowhere I'd rather be spending my days off than here. Not that I have very many days on, but you know, what I mean. More importantly though, I want to show off the inside of Kyle's house because I'm actually quite a fan of it. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> this is basically a gamer boy's paradise. That's exactly the vibe I wanted to go for with Kyle. Shout out to the Amanda Files. Yeah, <laughs> that's all I have to say on that. Here we have the next house, which is for another Molokai resident, Miss Diana, who is currently, I cannot get to her. Let us say hi to our Molokai queen witch. What? Oh shit. Did I forget to take that off? I'm just so grateful for your help with this. It's my dream vacation home, thanks to you. You. I simply can't let you walk away empty-handed. Please take this. Ooh, we got some wallpaper. Glowing moss forest wall. Exciting. That's kind of a little spoiler to the interior. Here's Diana's exterior. It's 100% inspired by Tropicic on Instagram. You may recognize that account. Talented, talented creator, Maryland, if you're watching this. It's safe to say she is the queen of Happy Home Paradise. Uh, all of her builds are amazing. Definitely check her out. But while we're at Diana's house, I really, really want to show off the interior. Like I said, she is our witchy gal, the witch girl of Molokai. So she, of course, needs a summoning room. That is exactly what Diana deserves. Oh my god, wow. This is basically Diana in a room. Yeah, we got the valiant statues, we got a nice little witch setup kind of thing over there. Anyways, on to the next house. Bam. Very similar vibe to Kyle's house. I did Apollo's first. Um, as you can see, he's here with his punk daughter, aka the yassified version of Apollo, Quinn. I was kind of trying to go for like jungle adventure vibes, kind of like Uncharted sort of, as we all know, that's one of my favorite games, but also like kind of Last of Us vibes as well. Because I've said it before, I really get Joel and Ellie vibes from Apollo and Quinn. So, you know, that's exactly exactly what their house is. And then let's show off the interior as well. Very, very run down, overgrown cabin. That's basically the vibes of the interior as you can see. Pretty cute. Um, Full disclosure, it was obviously inspired by Maya Crossing on Instagram, another amazing account. She did a build for Benjamin's house. She kind of had this fun layout. So lots of similar item placements and whatnot. I tried to give like very much Last of Us vibes, Uncharted vibes. What is Quinn doing over there in the corner? She's looking at nothing. I didn't put anything up there. You go girl, you do the you do you. You do you. Uh, we're not gonna show off of this house, but I do want to actually give a final tour real quick. I want to show off Shino's house. Fake arena, fakey Miss Shino, our resident pop girly of blue. Hi girly, how you doing? Welcome to my private little space. I love to sit out here and meditate. This is Shino's house. Lots of cherry blossoms, lots of pinks, lots of whites. Very, very zen. And then the interior, on the other hand, kind of wanted to go for like a nice little karaoke place, you know? 
now. I like to think that Shino would stand over there on stage and people would come and eat some sushi and watch her sing and perform the house down boots. Yes, God. Actually, no, I was gonna do a house, but honestly, there's something in my head that I've been thinking about. I have been saying since I think it was the first Happy Home Paradise little update video I did uh, that I did want to redo my school. So I think it's about time we finally remodeled the school. I actually have some ideas for what I want to do. Let us just get right into it, shall we? Full disclosure, once again, the main reason why I want to redo my school is because, are we surprised? I saw an Instagram post. <laughs> I actually saw this post like quite a while ago and I've been meaning to redo my school and kind of model it after that post. It's by bells underscore ACNH on Instagram. It's probably up on the screen right now. Uh, they did that for Doby actually. They kind of wanted to make Doby into like a high school teacher of sorts. So yeah, I feel like that would be the perfect vibes for the school. I just like the way it's built. I just why I just like the way it looks. So I want to copy it. That's exactly what we're doing. Um, as we all know, I am unoriginal. I am always copying other creators because I am not talented. So I don't know if I should make the room any bigger. I feel like keeping the room the same width and length. I think it's a good size. In my head, I like to think that villagers are basically grown people. They're not, well, villagers, you know? <laughs> so like, I kind of like the way that Bell's ACNH did their school because it kind of looks more like a college classroom rather than just a public school. I kind of want to do something similar. So we're just, well, I'm already starting. So I might as well get into it. I kind of want to keep the walls the same color. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Actually, yeah, let's figure out the wallpaper first. Do I want to change the walls? Why is there not a search feature in this game? I totally forgot though that in Happy Home Designer, which is basically Happy Home Paradise, but for the 3DS, there was a search feature in that game. So I don't know why they got rid of it for this game. It would have been so helpful to have it. I guess Nintendo just wants us to take a lot of time doing up our shit, you know? Because Nintendo loves it when we struggle. I know it's a manga wall, but like, does that look cute? Would it be cute to have like a bunch of, like the more I look at it, maybe instead of these shelves, we have like just a manga wall, like so. Does that look cute? That kind of looks cute. I'm a fan of it. I finally unlocked more pillar variants and wall stuff. Basically, you gotta just keep donating to Nico and sooner or later, you'll get more and more options in that little box upstairs. Do I wanna use the concrete? Actually, no, the concrete wall makes this the most sense. I'm trying to model it after like the school that I actually went to for university. And the university I went to, there were a lot of concrete features everywhere. This is like a good start for now. I feel like nowadays, a lot of classrooms have whiteboards instead of chalkboards. And and then maybe a little teacher's desk like so. so you know like it's like a nice little lecture for the class that kind of works lottie looks like a professor right now that is so cute oh my god you can change your clothes oh just her hats of course <laughs> you can only change your hats is there anything funky and fun that we can give to miss lottie maybe she'll wear this She's a little quirky. She can wear that. And Lottie just being a little quirky girl. Ooh, that's perfect. The glowing moss headband, of course, a staple. I have scrolled all the way down. I don't know if I've gotten enough items. Do you think this is enough to build a classroom? We'll work with what we've got. I'm thinking right away, I wanna kind of put this shelf right over here. Take this little boxed cart thing and stick it like in this little corner over here. What table works for like a school setting? What do they recommend? Just like a nice simple table. How many desks do you need? Just two. You only need two desks and anything counts. Wait, that counts as a desk? I did not know that. Any of the, did they change that? Any of these work as a desk now? Do with that information what you will. Wait, that's so intriguing. I'm not gonna do that. Maybe I'll do it on blue on my other island. So all of those can be used as a thing, but this is all the items that you can use as a teacher's desk. That seems a little annoying. Uh, why can you use this as a teacher's desk? The logic in this game, honestly, I kind of respect it. So I think we're gonna do just four tables across and then four tables this way. I probably should have changed the color of them first before I did that because now I'm gonna have to do all that again. I really wanna try to go for like that college classroom type feel where like all the tutorials and stuff happen and a lot of them are very, very sad. <laughs> Weird placement, you can't put that right 
exactly in the center. Oh, well, I'm thinking maybe there's two chairs over here because someone came with their bestie and they just kind of put that there. Maybe instead of a chair, we'll grab like a stool, just like a very random stool. Where are the stools? Someone came with their bestie, you know, their bestie's just visiting the classroom. That's four chairs right over there and then just replicate that on the other side. Yeah, maybe this one can be the teacher's desk. I really wish that the desk I'm using just counts as a teacher's desk because I don't want to use the actual teacher's desk because I hate the spacing of it. I hate how it's so much smaller than a regular table that just looks so off. We'll figure something out. I think this is like a cute setup for now. Yeah, it is. What do we think? I'm quite a fan of it. There's some potential. There's some potential indeed. Do I want to get a different chair though? I kind of, mm, should I use this chair instead? Everybody having like fun office chairs would be more fun. Now I got to do all that again. All right. I kind of want to focus on like cluttering up the desks right away because I think that will be a lot more fun than doing the rest of the thing. Let's just grab like all the school items that I immediately think of when I see college or when I think college campus. I know a lot of people have laptops Laptops. I bet this student just has a laptop on their desk for sure. Just a laptop and nothing else. Ooh, let's make them a baddie. They got the pink laptop and they're just online shopping in the middle of class and they don't give two fucks. Good for them. I'm thinking a backpack. I don't think there's any like backpack items. I know I can just put like an actual backpack like the one your player wears, but that is very annoying because they just kind of spawn on a mannequin. Ooh, actually, wait, I just thought of it. Right, these things. I can use a tote bag. Oh my God, I know someone was saying that in the comments. That works. Oh my God, just like a nice little tote bag on the floor. I hate the spacing though. Why is it right in the middle? Why can't I put it right next to the chair? There is enough space for that to go right next to the chair. That is so annoying. Maybe we can just put it on the desk instead. I really dislike the spacing of some of the items in this game. I wish there was a way to like alt place everything, but sadly not. This is motivation for me to get more tote bags from Kix. Pro tip, you can buy tote bags from Kix if you have Harv's shopping district unlocked. I'm thinking this student with a tote bag because it's a small bag. Maybe they just have like a lot of books you know they're kind of like the bookworm girly or whatever and then i'm thinking the desk right in front of them i'm thinking like we get like a proper desktop and like this can be the teacher's desk it's just right amongst all the other classmates it's locking this student's way but there's nothing they can do about that and then maybe oh maybe the two girlies that came together you know the girly that brought her friend with her maybe they're just like not paying attention at all and they're just like in the corner eating snacks and like spilling tea about everybody I'm not gonna say whether or not that's the type of student I am. Well, it's not the type of student I was. I had no friends in college. All my friends went to different schools. Uh, maybe one of them has like this iced coffee. The other one, where's the chip bag? That's what I'm looking for. They just have like snacks with them. Actually, no, we'll give them the hot pink laptop. They're just like shopping and snacking and they're not paying attention. And then this student right next to them is actually trying to pay attention, but is just bothered by the students next to them. Yeah, like they're taking notes and everything, but the students next to them are being annoying. <laughs> I've had to deal with students like that in college. It's quite annoying, but there's nothing you can do about it because you don't want to be a rude little shit. Actually, yeah, I think this is going to be the teacher's desk with the documents under it. They're one of those teachers, you know, the old school. So they just have a lot of papers and notebooks and they go off their memory. Fret's the teacher of this school. So I feel like that is something he would do. I'm gonna change some of the colors of the desks just to kind of add some variation. So it really feels very mismatched and such. Um, What other desks do I have to decorate? I think I'm gonna leave this one over here very blank. Like that student just didn't show up to class. Maybe a student brought a fucking typewriter. <laughs> they are weird and they own it. Somebody Somebody's got an iPad. One of those girlies that bring their iPads to class <laughs> and they're just playing on the kids app. No, they're actually paying attention. We love that for them. I'm gonna put it over here though. So it's not like a lot of screens on one side. God, if you're somebody who brings technology to class, do not sit near the teacher because they will look at your shit. Whether or not you want them to, they will look. I've literally done that where like I sat right next to the teacher and I was on my laptop and then I just did like a quick Google search for something else and then they they looked at it and they were like, what the hell are you doing? And I'm like, sir, why are you looking at my computer? That feels very invasive. I think this is good for now. That's kind of cute. I'm gonna, did I put that over there instead? What do we think? What do we think? That's fun so far. Maybe this person has, and they just like brought a stack of books with them to class. You know, they're one of those girlies. They just have a bunch of books and I respect them for that. Maybe this person has a bunch of books. Yep, that's what it is. That person has a bunch of books. Cute, cute. And then someone just has like, 
What's something fun that like a random person would bring to class? Maybe like, ooh, maybe a skateboard. Ooh, ooh, we got a skater girl with us. <laughs> we got a skater girl. He was a skater boy. She said, see you later, boy. Do, 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 do. Oh my God, Avril Lavigne is coming out with a new album. Who's ready for that? I'm quite excited. Okay, it's coming along pretty nicely. I'm quite a fan of everything so far. What do we think? <laughs> oh God, I'm so dumb. I, I definitely do want to grab another one of these though and put them in this corner just to kind of, well, everybody say it with me. Fill in the space. Now I feel like the globe, yeah, the globe would be on the floor. It would not be. Can you put this on a shelf? Why can you put a whole ass globe on a shelf? Actually, I kind of want to do that instead. I'm going to put that there and I'm going to put something smaller next to it. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Ooh, maybe these book stands. I think that would work. I want to grab a plant real quick because I think that space is calling for a plant. Let us put my favorite plant that came with the 2.0 update, the Schefflera. If only I can say it correctly. Ta-da. What should I do on the other side. I have like this entire back area just completely empty. I have no idea of, like I said, what I want to do. Maybe kind of like, hang on, I think I'm going to shrink the place down a bit so it's not too overwhelming. Mm, I think like there. That makes it a little more not as daunting that I have so much empty space left because I have no idea what I want to do with any of that empty space. I think like over here though, I kind of want to continue the sort of like cardboard box office vibe sort of thing. So we can put some scattered papers on the floor for some texture. I wish that would go right there. Can it go over here? Yes, it can. Grab some cardboard boxes. I don't know, cardboard boxes in a classroom. Does that make sense? No. Do I care? When have I ever cared? I like the cardboard box items. The cardboards and the trash items. Animal Crossing really made me fall in love with trash, which you think I would already be in love with trash considering, well, you know, I'm trash. I think that's cute. That's just like a nice little thing. I think I'm gonna grab like another one of these and stick it over here. We'll grab a hamster, cause I don't know, hamsters in classrooms also kind of makes sense to me. I don't know if it makes any sense to y'all, but it makes a lot of sense to me. Oh, I didn't even think about decorating the walls. That's gonna be a whole lot of work on my behalf. I could just leave it very spacious and open, but I, I I don't know. I just, I'm really a fan of like cluttered, just clutteredness and clutter core, if that's what you want to call it. I like just filling it in and making it as overwhelming as it can be. Um, That might be a toxic trait of mine, but I don't care. What should I put? What should I put right next to that? What does that space call for? Maybe another plant, maybe like right there. I wish these scattered papers were like a rug item instead, so you can actually put them underneath items. That would have just been so much nicer. But God, Nintendo, when are they just gonna learn and just, you know, hire me? Ooh, actually shit, I totally forgot. I have to put a teacher's desk. So I guess I could put the teacher's desk over there instead. I guess the checkout counter, for some reason that counts. And maybe I'll just put like another one of these boxes on it. What's in all these cardboard boxes that are in a freaking classroom? I don't know, beats me. Honestly though, oh wait, stealing items. I was about to say we're almost done, but no, we're not. This classroom is on a beach. So I feel like it makes sense to keep the base very, very cool. I think that's like good enough. Honestly, I was gonna like decorate all the walls, but considering that I'm using windowed walls, there isn't really much of a need to. I guess I'll just put something like right there. I am kind of a fan of how this turned out. Oh my God, cute, 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 cute. I wasn't actually planning on doing the school today. Uh, I was actually just gonna play around with some villager houses, but honestly, like, last minute I was just kind of like, nah, you know what? I've been meaning to do my school again for a very long time, so. I'm actually quite happy I did that. Uh, I'm a huge fan of how it turned out. It took a bit of struggling on my end, but y'all don't need to know that. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. So we might as well talk to Lottie, who's wearing a fabulous getup and move on. Do I want to change the exterior? I think I'm going to play around with the exterior. Currently I have like this kind of setup going on, but I kind of want to make it a little more inviting, sort of, like maybe tone down the bright colors. Do you want to give this school a new name? Right now we're calling it the Bad Pitch Academy. <laughs> I think that name's a little too iconic, so we're going to keep it as is. As you can see, Fret is still the teacher at the Bad Bitch Academy, because if you've been following me on Blue, you would know that Fret is a bad bitch as he's doing right over there. Damn, <laughs> bad girls club can never. I see Fauna. I see Audie. 
<gasps> oh my god, we got some baddies in the house today. What is Audie's thing? A place where I can always be the DJ? I'm tempted. I'm tempted. It's so hard to pick one thing on the menu here. What are you supposed to do when every item is your fave? I recognize that uniform. You're one of the folk who makes those amazo vacay homes. I want a vacay home, but I need a vacay home specialist to help me set it up. Can you do that? Why don't we do that real quick? So when I think DJ party zone, I really do think Coachella and Coachella takes place in the middle of the desert. So I think it's only fitting that we give Audie, the Coachella realness. She's literally in the mood. Look, she's got the party drink and everything. Does Coachella take place in the middle of the desert? With all the pictures and stuff I see, there's grass. So I'm pretty sure it doesn't, but eh, whatever. We're already here. We are just gonna put this house like off in the corner. Honestly, that's not the center of attention. Maybe we'll put it all the way up front, like right there. The center of attention really is all this area right over here. We gotta make a DJ party zone for sure. Maybe we'll make like a nice funky entrance to the area. <laughs> I wanna create like a stage, definitely. Like definitely Audie's gotta have a stage. She's gonna be the DJ. She's gonna be the baddest DJ alive. That's exactly what she's gotta do. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put this like right over here, just smack dab in the middle and we're just gonna get some speakers on either side. Just a very simple DJ setup. I've never been to a music festival, so I don't actually know how DJ setups work, but I'm just gonna do what I can to the best of my abilities and we're just gonna have a camp time while doing it. What are floor monitors for? Are they supposed to face out onto the audience or do they face the stage? Okay, I think we're gonna move these down over here. I am the wrong person to be doing this, Audi. I am so sorry. Well, that looks so weird. Just normal paving over the sand. Wait, what if you put the sand there's a different sand. It's two different types of sand. Um, I think we're just gonna have some nice terracotta though all across over here. I'm gonna try to do this as quick as I can because honestly, I spent a lot of my energy doing the school. If this looks a little ugly, um, oh well. And then immediately I'm thinking we should grab those fence items and I think I'm gonna try to line them up behind the area just to kind of you know, well, fence in the area. We're just gonna have it all along the area. Make it as fabulous as it can be. This is so fucking ugly. <laughs> you know what? We're gonna put the house in here and we're just gonna fence it off. <laughs> like, for sure. I am not doing the interior. This is so fucking ugly. <laughs> oh my God, Audi, I am so sorry. <laughs> For the disaster that I'm creating. <laughs> Let's just give her like a nice rundown little shack, you know, just a nice little shack in the middle of the woods. I don't know why I'm giving her a lot of pink. I don't think Audie's favorite color is pink. I think it's just because she's pink. Yeah, we'll put the record box like right over there. Change the time of day, you know, we got to make it like three in the morning. Maybe like a bunch of palm trees. Yeah, let's just fill the area up with palm trees. We're in the middle of the desert. So yeah, just a bunch of palm trees. <laughs> I can't make a proper dance floor so we're just gonna line this area up with a bunch of lights yeah really lighten up the space we'll grab you know what no we gotta lighten up the space we're gonna grab as many lights as we can obviously we're in the desert so let's just add a bunch of palm tree lighting as well yeah for sure we gotta make this place as lit as it can be Audi won't mind no, oh, Audie looks like she's living for all this. I am a design expert, as we can see. <laughs> I promise I'm good at this. Cute, cute. That's coming along nice. <laughs> that looks fabulous as is. I don't even need her to pose. Oh God, this is exactly why I don't play Happy Home Paradise. I, someone needs to take Happy Home Paradise away from me. You know what? Nah, we're gonna make, we're gonna work on the interior. We're gonna make a washroom. <laughs> you know, you're out partying at Coachella. So obviously when nature calls you gotta go do it somewhere and it is not attractive to do that shit in the middle of the fucking desert while everybody is staring so we gotta just make like a nice little washroom just something real quick you know let's just give some nice hot ass pink lighting you know this is a unisex washroom so we got some urinals and then i guess like a sink yeah there's sinks and washrooms right there should be does this sink make sense the one right over here maybe another one like that we gotta get some wall art you know something fun something that really screams party time that screams party for sure. We'll just have a bunch of those over there and we'll grab another one. We'll fill this wall up. We're screaming party basically. Yeah, it really screams party. <laughs> yep, this is the washroom fit for a party place. You can't have a party without a disco ball, a rainbow disco ball because gay rights. We'll have like four of them even. Audie knows how to have a good time even in a fucking washroom. Hell yeah.
Oh my God, is that a shooting star? I just made the ugliest house in my design history. I managed to get 15,000 pokey for all that. So I'd say it was a job well done. Wardle headed out a moment ago. Ooh, hell yeah, let's go on a date with Sir Wardle. That's exactly the perfect way to end off this video. Wardle or Wardell, I don't know how to say his name. I say Wardle, where, where did he go? Oh my God. <gasps> Why do I always come? <laughs> Wardle, baby, what are you doing in the middle of the ocean? I mean, I guess it makes sense. <laughs> Hello, this, my friend. Do you enjoy the ocean? All life depends on it. It is our home. Oh my god, he's dripping wet. I believe it's time that I head back. I'm glad I was able to be with you and listen to the waves. Sorry, y'all couldn't listen to the waves. I don't record with game audio. Waddle, 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 waddle. And what bam Did I unlock more soundscapes? I guess that's what that was. Oh my god, Walker's here. Another blue resident. Queenie and Eloise are on a date. That's probably gonna be a good stopping point for this video. Sorry for what this video was. <laughs> I don't know. I just wanted to do something fun, something cute, something for the summertime. I'm just gonna call it there. I don't know if y'all enjoy the video. If y'all like the video, like the video. Comment down below whatever you want. Subscribe. I'm gonna go because, um, well, I just wanna go. So it's the end of the video. Makes sense. I got not much else to say, so bye. This was a horrible outro. The more and more videos I make, I just get worse at outros. It doesn't get any better. Okay, bye. Just stare at our IBS king as he's playing in the sand. Okay, he stopped. Okay, he started. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna shut up now.